Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis and I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us tonight. A huge six alarm fire in Sarasota has destroyed a group of warehouses and turned some lives upside down. The fire happened early this morning on South Packing House Road in Sarasota. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from there with the latest. Rick. Yeah, guys, as you can see, this fast moving fire has destroyed so much. One guy that we talked with says he has lost everything. It's not a wake up call anyone was expecting on this Friday. Just before 5 a.m., a group of warehouses on Packing House Road in Sarasota was engulfed in flames. Mark Hayden lost everything he owns, including tens of thousands of dollars in music equipment, his music studio, and his truck. Here's a picture of what used to be Hayden's truck taken by one of his friends. I saw the smoke, I saw the fire, I opened up the door, and I, I had a a roll of fire just blow right into my face, knocked me completely out the door. Hayden and many others who were there when the fire happened lost many items, but say they are lucky to be alive. We just grabbed a bunch of stuff. It was so hot by my truck. I mean, it was scorching, so I just flew out as fast as I could with a lot of stuff. When we seen flickering light. He stepped outside and seen that the building was on fire. Even though so much was destroyed by this fast moving fire, the popular JR's Old Packing House Cafe, which is right next to the warehouses, only suffered minimal damage. The fire department did an amazing job. I guess they like eating here. Extra fire crews were brought in to battle this six alarm fire. It took the 80 or so firefighters hours to get it under control. We had a uh, couple of buildings, uh, warehouses that um, have been in existence for quite a long time. Um, those were on fire upon our arrival with heavy fire um, emanating from the roof. For Mark Hayden and others who lost so much so quickly this morning, they're hoping the community comes together to help out. And fortunately, no one was injured in this fire. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly how it started. Reporting live this evening from Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you. Thank you, Rick. More funerals today for some of the 49 victims who died in the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. As they're being laid to rest, more stories of first responders rushing into that horrific scene Sunday are starting to emerge. A lot of officers, it, you know, drug people out of there, people who were wounded, who couldn't walk on their own, and our officers uh, risked their lives for their safety. You know, they stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with, a, with a mass murderer uh, who was willing to risk it all, and um, they performed heroically and very courageously. In the midst of that terror, the killer reportedly texted his wife asking if she had seen the news. It's unclear what was said or whether she knew about his murderous rampage. She and the gunman's father are now on the no-fly list. Some Minnesota Key homeowners are facing the very real threat of their homes falling into the Gulf of Mexico. One of them belongs to 90-year-old Betty Gawthorpe. The structure of her home is cracking at the base. Insurance adjusters have been out and say her home could become too dangerous to live in soon. Gawthorpe and her neighbors have been working with Sarasota County to get some relief. They'd like to put out sandbags, but they're facing some hurdles. The type of sandbag that is approved by the county commissioners are these very, very small bags. Anything larger than that has to be approved by the board. I want to spend the rest of my life here, even though I don't expect it to be 10 more years, but, uh, but I wanted to spend it here, and now I'm not sure I can spend the rest of the summer here. In a statement today, county staff say they're working with homeowners to come up with a solution. And the Mayaka River remains under a flood warning after Tropical Storm Colin. Seasonal rainfall hasn't helped the issue there. The river at the Mayaka State Park is above 8 feet, which means the main road at the park can flood. When the water reaches 7 feet, the trails, picnic areas, and parking lots also flood. This is pretty typical at that park during the summer months if we get a lot of rain. It doesn't take much for that river to rise and then, uh, you know, the road and the park amenities there to uh, have some water on them. Yeah, and I started to notice even in my own backyard, once just a couple days of rain, you start to see even with just, you know, a, a slight rainstorm, you start to see the, the puddles yeah, really stick around. Longer. Yeah, they do. Yeah. 
Now let's head over to Bob and get a check on our Friday evening forecast. Well, here's the watches and advisories right now that are in from the National Weather Service. A rip current advisory in effect. That's due to that westerly flow. And rip currents are real danger here in the state of Florida. Already seven deaths attributed to those rip currents, mainly all those along the east coast. But we do have them in effect for area beachgoers on Saturday. And the two warnings that, that are up there that are typical during the summer months, but a little early to start things off there as a result of Colin. And you can see uh, this one here along the Peace River in effect until Friday this evening until 8 o'clock. It may start to go below that flood stage up by then. And then this one in effect until Tuesday of next week at the Mayak River at the Mayak State Park. Uh, some of the roads uh, have water over them now as a result of the uh, flooding that is going on there. You can see all the rain for the most part is east of our area. Now there's still a few showers developing out in the Gulf of Mexico, but most areas will stay dry through this evening. And then later on tonight, more rain is on the way. We'll talk about the weekend weather coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. A 22-year-old man is the first to be found guilty of human trafficking in Sarasota County. Ronald McBride III of Sarasota was convicted of six felony charges today, including human trafficking. According to the state attorney's office, the crimes began last November when McBride coached the victim on how to trade her body for money and drugs on the streets. One night, the victim did not return, and when McBride found her, he beat her with a gun. She managed to escape and get someone to call 911. There's a level of fear instilled in most of these victims that uh, can make prosecution challenging. Um, but we are committed to fighting that fight. McBride's sentencing is set for September. The maximum sentence he faces is life in prison. Plans for a much anticipated Bass Pro Shop on the Sun Coast have hit a big roadblock, apparently for good this time. Sarasota Herald Tribune reporting the company has terminated its contract to purchase property on I-75 and Fruitville Road. There had been talks for a couple of years now that Bass Pro Shop would open an 80,000 square foot outpost store, but no opening date was ever announced. The closest Bass Pro Shop to the Sun Coast is in Brandon, which opened last July. Manatee County Animal Services has nearly 190 animals at its facility in Palmetto tonight. It's supposed to be able to hold only 80, but the organization is dealing with a major overflow after a recent seizure as part of an investigation being conducted by the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Details on that ongoing investigation have not been released yet, but for the time being, Animal Services is using office space to house some of the animals. This comes as the agency has been offering a 50% adoption fee discount for cats and dogs. That deal runs through June 30th. Leaders in Manatee County are starting to consider strategies to sway voters into approving a half-cent sales tax many say will be vital to the county's future. ABC 7's Adam Cellini is here to explain how everyone, even commissioners, could be joining the campaign. Adam. Haley, thank you. Yeah, it will be up to commissioners Tuesday to decide if the sales tax increase is on the November, November ballot. And if it is, they could be asked to promote it while they promote their own re-election. The county says the half-cent sales tax could yield around $23 million a year earmarked for infrastructure improvements. No county funds can be put towards advertising, so the goal, they say, will be to inform. Earlier this month, the county published a list of specific improvement projects the money could target, and they say more websites and workshops are likely on the way. County Administrator Ed Hunziker says he will also call on elected officials to spread the word among their individual districts. They are members of this community. They are the taxpayers. Um, and I think it would be nice if, uh, if they would be the ones to get out there and talk to the community. The proposed sales tax increase could bring Manatee County to 7%, which would be the same as its five bordering counties, including Sarasota. Scott and Haley, back to you. Thank you, Adam. The latest job numbers are out for the state of Florida. Straight ahead, how Florida's unemployment rate fared compared to the rest of the country. And Florida bear hunt discussions continue what the FWC will be considering next week. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. For Florida homes. By Florida workers. Because we know Florida weather. Bring your measurements this Saturday from 9 to 4 to get huge discounts. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now.
Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford because Sarasota Ford guarantees you our lowest price on every new Ford every day. Save on America's best-selling truck, 39 years running, the Ford F-150. Fusions, Escapes, over 800 vehicles on-site or online, all on sale. Buy with 0% for 60 months. And now, get up to 2,000 trade assistance. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Hey, I'm really glad that you're taking a few moments to check out this video about the ministry of First Sarasota, downtown Baptist Church. I'm William Hill, lead pastor here at First Sarasota. For the last 15 years, it's been my privilege to share in the life of this faith community, a community that centers itself around faith, friends, and family. Indeed, it is a ministry that's been in existence right here in this wonderful city for over a century. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Florida's unemployment rate continues to drop. The Department of Economic Opportunity reporting a drop of one-tenth of a percent in May, now at 4.7 percent, which now matches the national jobless rate. This new rate represents an estimated 457,000 people still out of work in Florida, but the state has gained more than 250,000 jobs in the past year. Private sector businesses across the state are continuing to add jobs uh, and they're continuing to look for uh, more workers uh, and more people to employ. And job openings across the state are a strong indicator of that. The Tampa Bay area led the state in private sector jobs over the past year. Florida's Fish and Wildlife Commissioners will consider four options next week on how to handle the state's black bear population going forward. But they're already getting some feedback. An FWC staff recommendation suggests holding a bear hunt this fall, but for it to be broken into three four-day periods, with hunters applying on a first-come, first-served basis. And hunting permits would be specific to dates and areas. State biologists also recently recommend holding another hunting season, but with more restrictions. Last year's hunt, the first in Florida in the past 20 years drew harsh criticism from animal rights advocates. And some protests uh, against that A proposed lot, bear yeah. hunt are set for tomorrow mm -hmm. in Sarasota. We'll be right back with the forecast. Stay with us. We are delighted to have Dr. Kaminsky join our team at the Tertullian Cancer Center. I'm a radiation oncologist. I was at the National Institutes of Health, most recently at the Medical College of Georgia, specialized in central nervous system cancers, uh, prostate cancers, and other types. At the Tertullian Cancer Center, we have a level of technology that is second to none. He has a great wealth of knowledge and shares the same passion that we have for patient care. My family and I are happy to be here in Sarasota and excited to treat our patients here at the Detoli Cancer Center. Florida Studio Theater presents the fabulous Lipitones, now held over by popular demand. A high note leaves the barbershop quartet without their fourth member just before the national competition. What ensues is a comedy of misunderstanding, stereotypes, and the path to perfect harmony that critics say has laughs galore and gets right to the heart. Buy tickets now by calling 941-366-9000 or visit floridastudiotheater.org. So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota, Florida. 
Looking for carpet? Look no further. Minnesota Flooring has Smart Strand Carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Minnesota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Minnesota Flooring today. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Did you know? You can make an instant harness by simply wrapping the leash around your dog's chest and up through their collar. Contact Canine Corral today about a no-pull harness that will make you smile. Canine Corral, where the love is. Well, Bob, we had some rain. Maybe yeah. cooled things down, but did add to the humidity, I think, You're unfortunately. Right, yeah, absolutely. And the rainfall was around uh, periodically throughout the day today. Mm -hmm. I know that some people had to dodge the showers yeah. at times. And I think similar conditions will be setting up tomorrow because of another little system coming down. We'll talk more about that in a bit. But we had some showers near Lakewood Ranch, too, right around the noon hour. And the timing of the storms uh, will be a little bit different. We could see some morning showers again tomorrow. That rain coming around 2 o'clock this afternoon, pretty heavy at Lakewood Ranch at times. And some areas getting over an inch and a half, but now skies have cleared for the most part and it looks like uh, things are going to be pretty good tonight. You may get a glimpse of the International Space Station as it flies on by at 933. It should become visible. It's only going to be visible for about three minutes. Look to the north northwest about three fifths above the horizon and it should traverse all the way across the southeast. So it should be uh, moving pretty quickly overhead and hopefully skies will be clear at 933 tonight visible for three minutes. So well, Showers and storms around down to our south near Miami now heading toward the Bahamas. That's that little piece of energy that brought us some rainfall here earlier today. Most of that is now moved out. There are one or two lone showers out in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that uh, with some of the returns there from the radar uh, picking up some activity about 50 miles west southwest or west northwest of Anna Maria Island. Currently we have partly cloudy skies, 87. The heat index still very high at 97. We've got to get rid of that west wind and we will, but not tomorrow or tomorrow night. More so by Sunday. We'll start to see more of an east to northeasterly wind flow, which will allow for showers and storms to gather in the afternoon. The pressure has been falling slightly throughout the day today due to that little system that moved in. The high today was pretty close to average. The morning low wasn't 81 degrees this morning, and temperatures have been in the 80s for the past several nights. It will stay that way too uh, tomorrow morning. 12 hundredths of an inch of rainfall at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport, and that brings our monthly total up past uh, uh, almost two inches, I should say, over an inch and a half above average. And most of that was due to Colin, and we talked about it earlier. The flooding still going on, uh, some minor flooding uh, near the Mayaka State Park and also uh, the Peace River near Arcadia. Well, 88 in Orlando, it's 90 in Wachula, Arcadia at 88 degrees, Northport, you're the same. Braden at 86, Lakewood Ranch, you're stuck at 87 degrees right now, 85 at Cortez and in Braden Beach. And temperatures near the coast tonight will stay in the low 80s. Uh, we're not going to drop much at all. Well, the future cast does indicate some more showers developing overnight as yet another little piece of energy comes down from up north and tomorrow morning, say around 4 or 5 o'clock, there could still be a few showers. Uh, near 9, now this is uh, just one model's interpretation of it. We'll start to see showers and storms continue, like we saw today, to move from west to east overhead. Not everyone's going to see the bulk of the precipitation, but there will be a few showers around. And then notice what happens on Saturday night. We get a few showers coming from the east, and then that easterly wind flow will be with us on Sunday. So the morning looks to be okay. Then showers and storms gathering about in the afternoon and evening, pushing toward the Gulf of Mexico on Father's Day. So we appear to see some showers there. In the tropics, all is fairly quiet right now. Not a whole lot going on. Tropical wave, no real threat of it developing as a result of it being over land or the Yucatan Peninsula. There's one system off the Carolina coast that has a chance, but that's out in the Atlantic. 70 now in Portland, 86 though in Detroit. Heating up in Omaha and Wichita, both at 97 degrees right now. And 88 in Salt Lake City, 97 in Dallas. 
Well, tides upcoming. Low tide will be at 7.05, another one at 5.32 tomorrow, and then a high tide at 11.13 tomorrow um, uh, morning. Scattered storms for the boaters tomorrow. West winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be 2 to 4 feet with a moderate chop. The UV index an 8 out of a 10, and it will be moderate there. Uh, mostly fair uh, tonight, warm and muggy. Some showers developing late tonight. And then tomorrow, look for uh, partly cloudy skies, unsettled weather, and we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms, west winds at 10 to 15. And the extended forecast, less of a chance on Monday and Tuesday. And for Father's Day, we are anticipating, uh, looks like basically variable clouds, partly cloudy skies, a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, a rain chance mainly in the afternoon and evening with a high temperature right around 91. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. Evan Longoria has been a star for the Rays on the field this season, but he's also a star off the field, and he did that today. Coming up next, hear from the Rays' third baseman on the Reading with the Rays program. You know what scares me? No electricity. Yeah, when this magical box suddenly stops working, I call the pros at Mr. Sparky and they send a superhero to save the day. How's it going, Pablo? It's going great, Mike. Pablo possesses amazing skill. He can perform incredible feats at blinding speed. Superhero. Couldn't have done it without you. Modest, too. Call 888 sparky Just to be clear, I don't live here. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Rose takes her volunteering for Tidewell Hospice very seriously. But she knows how to have fun, too. And that's what she brings when we're invited to visit patients as part of Tidewell's pet therapy program. People love to see her. She really brightens their day. She makes people smile. And in end-of-life care, a smile can be a wonderful gift. Tidewell Hospice. It's more than you think. I'm Dale Mast, and we're celebrating 40 years on the west coast of Florida. It's our 40th anniversary, and it's time for a celebration, the Culligan Hydration Celebration. For a limited time, celebrate by taking $250 off any Culligan home system. That's $250 off Culligan water softener systems, drinking water systems, or whole house water filters. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary, and remember... For better water, pure and simple, call today and say... Hey, Culligan man! When you don't know who you are, you can be anyone you want to be. You're coming with me. Ooh, where are we going? To the most wondrous place in the world. Roll up! Cable Views Travelling Circus is here! This isn't a fairy story. People don't always live happily ever after. But we will. I'm Hetty Feather, and this is my story. While the Rays are in the middle of a homestand, Evan Longoria made a stop at the Downtown Central Library in Bradenton. The star third baseman returning for the Reading with the Rays summer program. This is the ninth season for the initiative and fifth for Longo as he read to a group of youngsters this afternoon. The program aims to encourage kids to read for 24 hours during the summer months. Longoria, who is a father of two, talked about how important it is for parents to read to their children. It's amazing uh, some of the things that I've heard my daughter repeat over the years just reading to her that she's heard in a book and she may not have uh, you know really repeated it then or said it then but um, she definitely heard it in something that we read to her and, and she retained it so um, it's very important um, I think to, to kind of start them on that track very early. He also said it was a lot of fun to uh, read today and answer the questions from the children. And by the way, the Rays do have a game tonight. They're hosting the San Francisco Giants at the Trop tonight at 7 o'clock. And that's the fundraiser for yeah. the Orlando victims right. tonight. Sold out. Sold out. Yeah. be a great game. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Absolutely. And some rain probably tomorrow, but Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, scattered showers, good, huh? uh, some late storms on Sunday. Have a good Father's Day. Mm -hmm. You too. Happy Father's uh, Day to you. both of you guys and thank everyone you. watching.
is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato. In the wake of the shooting in Orlando, it is difficult to find the right words and on which headline to focus. Headline, the unimaginable loss of life, the personal trauma family and friends of the victims are suffering. Headline, gun control, led by both parties fighting for center stage on the networks, repeating the familiar chorus we have come to expect, void of action or solutions. Headline, terrorism. Amid the dueling news conferences from the White House to Trump Tower, we would be well advised not to jump to any conclusions while the facts are being collected and examined. Unfortunately, restraint and calm are no longer part of the political book. One-upmanship, not leadership, is the order of the day. Headline, hate crime. LGBT community targeted. No spin here. No one can deny the hatred and prejudice that still exists in our country today. So sad that these attacks on our fundamental civil rights have become a reoccurring theme of the 21st century American tradition. And finally, a headline that is not getting much attention, a nation divided. When faced with an extreme crisis, true character is revealed. 15 years ago on 9-11, our will was tested, but not broken. We came together as a nation, determined, united in purpose, patriotic. And look at us now, divided, adrift, without direction, unable to agree or control our own destiny. What in the name of God has happened to America? I honestly don't know. I'm Steve Sabato, and we'd like to hear from you. The opinions expressed in this editorial do not necessarily reflect those of ABC7's owners or management. If you would like to comment, go to our website, www.mysuncoast.com, and click Community. I'm Haley Wilgus. Social media politics, from Facebook to Twitter, find out how campaigns are using these platforms to connect with voters. Tonight on ABC7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Annual wellness visits are important for healthy living. When you schedule your yearly exam, MCR Health Services is here for you. With over 25 healthcare centers featuring multiple services and eight pharmacies, we are here for you. Call or click today. Discover the biggest savings of the year on some of America's favorite vehicles during the Drive and Discover event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Get four-wheeler magazines 4x4 of the decade, a new Jeep Wrangler as low as $25,999, or drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for just $19,999. Get a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. The home at 14 Green Street. The showing. The butterflies. The papers. The crunching of numbers. The offer, the counter, the poker face, the impasse. Finding the happy place. The compromise. The closing of loopholes, the ironing of wrinkles, the signing, the shake, no, the hug. The sign of a Remax agent. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care, right at home. We've been slow smoking over oak for more than 45 years. And while sticking to tried and true traditions is kind of our thing, 
It doesn't hurt to throw something new in the smoker every now and then. Come get some slow smoked chicken wings at Sunnet Barbecue. Order them as an appetizer or as part of a combo with pork, baby back ribs, or both. Starting at $10.99, Sunnet's Barbecue, local pitmasters at 68.